Hello, Ladies Unlimited of Ottawa and around the world. Thank you so much for being with us on our midweek devotion and prayer where we are reading the Solo Message Bible and devotional. I want to thank all of you for reaching with us and emailing us at ottawachurchladies at gmail.com, letting us know how you are overcoming by the word of your testimony and how God is working through you and in you and around you. We love to hear your stories and please continue to email us at ottawachurchladies at gmail.com. This week, we're going to be reading Jesus Threw Them Out by Matthew in Matthew 21, 12 to 17. So let us get comfortable as we practice being still and being loved, practicing listening for the voice of God and receiving all that he has for us today. We need to refill our storage houses so that we may work and minister from a place of overflow. Let us begin. This week we are continuing our Lactino Divina for those who have not been with us in previous weeks. Jesus went straight to the temple and threw out everyone who had set up shop, buying and selling. He kicked over the tables of loan sharks and the stalls of dove merchants. He quoted this text. My house was designated a house of prayer. You have made it a hangout for thieves. Now there was room for the blind and crippled to get in. They came to Jesus and he healed them. When the religious leaders saw the outrageous things he was doing and heard all the children running and shouting through the temple, Hosanna to David's son. They were up in arms and took him to task. Do you hear that these, what these children are saying? Jesus said, Yes, I hear them. And haven't you read in God's word? From the mouths of children and babies, I'll furnish a place of praise. Fed up, Jesus turned on his heels and left the city for Bethany, where he spent the night. Let us imagine. Imagine you are there when Jesus comes in the temple and cleanses it. To get your imagination going, we're going to read this passage a second time, but then we're going to set the book aside, possibly pause this Lactino Divina, close our eyes, and see ourselves as part of the scene. Who are you? Where are you? Smell the incense and the scent of burning, sacrificed animal flesh. Jump at the loud crash of the tables and the furry in Jesus' voice as the sounds echo in the stunned silence. What are the expressions on the faces around you? Now, let the blind and crippled come into your view. Watch Jesus healing them. Listen to the voices of the children as they play and shout, Hosanna! What's your reaction to them? To Jesus' interaction with the disabled? To the designation of the religious leaders? Include not only your mental reaction, but your physical reactions too, if any. I'm sorry, your indignation of the religious leaders. Now follow Jesus as he walks out of the city, still fuming. Picture him initiating a conversation with you about the events of the day. And imagine what he asks you, what it was like, and tell him. This is our practicing relationship with our Lord and Savior. You may pause the Lactina Divina at this time if you so choose, or if not, let us continue. Jesus went straight to the temple and threw out everyone who had set up shop, buying and selling. He kicked over the tables of loan sharks and the stalls of dove merchants. He quoted this text, My house was designated a house of prayer. You have made it a hangout for thieves. Now there was room for room for the blind and crippled to get in. They came to Jesus and he healed them. When the religious leaders saw the outrageous things he was doing and heard all the children running and shouting through the temple, Hosanna to David's son. They were up in arms and took him to task. Do you hear what these children are saying? Jesus said, yes, I hear them. And haven't you read in God's word? From the mouths of children and babies, I'll furnish a place of praise. Fed up, Jesus turned on his heels and left the city for Bethany, where he spent the night. How can we live out his word? 
In C.S. Lewis's The Lion, Witch, and the Wardrobe, the lion, Aslan, isn't safe, but he's good. Consider this statement in light of what you've read about Jesus. How does this view of Jesus, that he sometimes does things that are painful to us, alter our perception of who he is? In what ways does this affect how we relate to him? Let us meditate. At this time, you might want to pause our Lactino Divina and take out your journal and write out what the Lord has been saying to you, what words he has been highlighting for you during this time. Let us continue. Jesus went straight to the temple and threw out everyone who had set up shop, buying and selling. He kicked over the tables of loan sharks and the stalls of dove merchants. He quoted this text, My house was designated a house of prayer. You have made it a hangout for thieves. Now there was a room for the blind, sorry, there was room for the blind and crippled to get in. They came to Jesus and he healed them. When the religious leaders saw the outrageous things he was doing and heard all the children running and shouting through the temple, Hosanna to David's son, they were up in arms and took him to task. Do you hear what these children are saying? Jesus said, Yes, I hear them. And haven't you read in God's word from the mouths of children and babies, I'll furnish a place of praise? Fed up, Jesus turned on his heels and left the city for Bethany, where he spent the night. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, God, I pray for every woman under the sound of my voice today. We want in unity to give you thanks. Thank you, Lord, for making space for us, for the crippled, for those of us that need healing. God, we want to worship you, Lord, that you make a place of praise for us, even as children of our living God. God, we want to ask you, that you would help us today, Lord Jesus, to remember that your house is a place of prayer, that not just the building, Lord, but our temple. Help us to pray. Teach us to pray, Lord Jesus, and not to get busy in servitude. Help us, Lord, today unite together in our mission for you and to have eyes to see and ears to hear where we may give from a place of overflow to those we encounter today. I believe you, Lord Jesus, that you will do wondrous works in all of us today. And we unite believing in your name, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much, Ladies Unlimited of Ottawa and around the world for being with us this week. We look forward to hearing from you at ottawachurchladies at gmail.com. Be sure to email us all that God is doing in your life how you are overcoming by the word of your testimony, what Jesus is doing through your life, by your life, and around you. We need to share his praise and testimony that we may overcome, that we may have joy abundantly. He has come to give us life and life more abundantly. Let us shout his praise. Let us continue to pray together and do life together. I thank you again for being with us this week and we look forward to seeing you next week. God bless you and continue to reach.